Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. Guy's an early riser. He's already at it. Welcome back to part two of our trailer build. If you recall in part one, we pulled apart and stripped the old rusted out trailer. Got a few parts off it we can use for our log carrier, the axle, tires, and we're also going to reuse the tongue. We also picked up some of the spare steel that Guy had out in the back. We've got some C-channel for the frame. I'm going to pick up a little more for our cross members. Today, we're going to finish prepping up these pieces to get them ready for welding. Once we get all of our C-channel all prepped and ready to go, I think Guy's going to start trying to assemble the frame, and then we'll slowly piece the trailer together. Let's we'll see how much we get done today. Hope you'll stick around. Cheers. What did I say? 56 and 1 8. So we've got our main frame, we've got our cross members. And guys just squaring it up now and trying to fit them in before we weld them. Okay. Uh, just a tiny bit out. This one back? Yep, just a bit. That's it. Not critical. I'm no? just going to tack it and then uh, do the same here. Okay.
right dead on the exact corner, right in the middle? Yeah, just hook it in the middle in the corner. Okay. 129 and a half. Hundred and twenty nine and three eighths. <laughs> you are good. Very good. Something went wrong, I don't know what it is. <laughs> they're level, they're not twisted, and they're square. Well, How does that happen on the first try? At the present moment. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's weld them up. Yep. -er. Let me catch up on where we've gotten to today. As you know, we took our C channel, we put two of them face to face, welded both of these long frames together, put one on either side, measured at the axle for the distance of the width, cut three cross members, got the first one on, the rear on, and then we put the one in the middle. A little bit of a task there, especially when you're working out in the driveway. but. Uh, Guy was able to get her all squared up and tack welded, and we did pretty good, I think. We got her square pretty much on the first attempt. Really happy about that, and really happy that this old steel wasn't twisted at all or bent. We've got some nice straight lines here on the frame. After that, we grabbed the big tongue, and it's a heavy tongue. Slid it up underneath the frame. We took a chalk line, measured it right from the middle of the width, all the way through and then carried that through to where the ball hitch is and then we measured back from that point got it centered tack welded it and lastly we got the axle tack welded we took a look at a few other trailers at the yard because we weren't quite sure where to set the wheels we were going to put them right in the middle but that tongue by itself weighs a ton to begin with so we moved it back 
because similarly the other trailers also have their axles about five to eight inches behind the middle point of the trailer. So we put ours back about four inches, got our tack welded in place. I think that's going to wrap up part two for today. It's getting pretty hot out here. I hope you'll stick around or come back for part three. Thanks so much for sticking around today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe evening with your families. Please be kind to one another, and I'll see you again right here on GP Outdoors. Cheers.